have a look at the trends in Sydney and then I'll bring up the map and it's kind of fascinating. The metropolitan area is voting 52% no at this stage. Eastern Sydney is voting yes, Western Sydney voting solidly no. Labor seats voting a narrower, uh, narrow no. Liberal seats a stronger no. And other seats, which is all the teals and independents, solid yes. Mm. Let's look at this map. And it's very interesting. This is a map of Sydney. Now, remember, at a general election, all this area used to be blue. There's a few blues here and there and lots of red in Western Sydney at the moment. This looks like the results of the Republic in 1999, exactly the same. Blue, uh, purple here for yes, orange out there for no. But look at some of these seat results. Warringah, one of the teal seats, 54% uh, yes. Warringah, which used to be Tony Abbott's seat, now held by Zali Stegel, 64% yes. North Sydney... 63% yes. Wentworth, another TLC, does Long Island North Sydney, 66% yes. Mm. Kingsford Smith is yes. Sydney, a Labor seat, yes. The Prime Minister's seat, a Grandler, a very solid yes vote. Even Benelong, which is a marginal Labor seat currently, it used to be John Howard's, is currently yes, though I wouldn't, we've got that in doubt. But there we are, there's those one, two, three, four teal seats and they're all very solidly yes. So, now, tonight, we're looking at the results of the referendum. It's very hard to avoid also talking about the political consequences of the results. But uh, um, I'd point out that there were 17 Liberal seats that voted yes to the Republic in 99, and now they hold, only hold five of them. So we're seeing a result here which has some similarities to the Republican result for Sydney in 1999. It's a really interesting point too when you think the Liberals have got to try and win back those teal seats to get back into government yeah. and you see them strongly voting yes but for Labor on the outer parts of yeah. uh, Sydney there in, in Labor heartland a strong no vote. Well, well let me have a look Lindsay 67% um, no that's a Liberal seat. Chifley next door very safe Labor 57. Fowler which is Died Lee's seat 60% no. Uh, MacArthur a rapidly growing district 63. Werrower 62. I mean, it's just uh, an extraordinary collection of results. Um, Linda Burney here, that's her seat of Barton, 53.8% no. So, I mean, we'll see how the rest of the counting goes there. But that just gives you a picture. Is Scott Morrison's old seat of Cook, 60 Still his seat, still his seat. Oh, yeah. no, I should say, yes, sorry, yes. <laughs> Barara, um, <laughs> which is Julian Lisa's seat at the moment, has got a, a now, it's not, we haven't given that seat away or mm. decided it's voted yes or no. But that's Julian Lisa's seat. He's on 52% no at this stage. So uh, the, if that map continues, that's, that's, that's a fascinating, fascinating mm -hmm. political consequence of this. It doesn't say much about the future of reconciliation, but that's an interesting political result.